Sergio Perez will remain at Red Bull for 2022, with the possibility of this going into 2023 according to reports. Whilst there has been no official confirmation as of yet, Spanish newspaper Marca claims that talks to renew Perez's contract are well underway and that the only thing that is uncertain is whether the contract will be just for one year, which is reportedly the wish of Red Bull, or for two years, supposedly the preference for Perez. It is unclear when a deal might be announced, but Perez has previously spoken about his desire to start contract discussions as soon as possible. Perez has fitted in well with the Milton Keynes-based outfit since joining them for the 2021 season and has developed a good working relationship with teammate Max Verstappen. With Verstappen's previous teammates Pierre Gasly and Alex Albon struggling to match his level of performance, Perez has been able to play the team role which has enabled Red Bull to lead the Constructors' Championship with an impressive 44-point advantage over nearest rivals Mercedes. Perez also secured his first win for the team at the Azerbaijan Grand Prix, meaning they were able to pull back some points following Verstappen's certain exit from their race due to a tire failure. The Mexican has additionally shown his skill at adapting to different strategies and is particularly strong when it comes to managing the tires over a long stint. Team boss Christian Horner recently spoke about how pleased he has been with Perez since the 31-year-old joined the team. Fernando Alonso believes the rule whereby the top 10 runners from qualifying start on their Q2 tires skews the balance unfairly towards the faster cars on the grid. Front-running teams Mercedes and Red Bull often try to get through the second qualifying session on the medium tires of the weekend to ensure they are able to go further into the race before stopping, which Alonso believes gives them an unfair advantage by having more flexibility on strategy coupled with their innate pace advantage. Tire compounds for the Austrian Grand Prix had gone one step softer than last weekend's race at the Red Bull Ring, with the majority of cars using the hard tire during the race, that compound will no longer be available and the mediums from Styria will become the new hard tire. With that, Alonso feels that two-stop strategies will be more common as a result, but the fastest cars will still be able to take advantage of the situation to their benefit. Alonso said, quote, It's going to be a challenge to do one pit stop. If you start with a C5, which is Pirelli's softest tire compound, maybe it's more difficult. The fast cars have the luxury to avoid that tire and in the midfield, we don't have that luxury. That's the bad thing about the rules. They try to invent one rule that could benefit the show and they just benefit the big teams. Charles Leclerc admits the mood of Ferrari has been different since Sebastian Vettel departed. The four-time world champion appeared to have an increasingly difficult relationship in his final years with the Scuderia, even being informed he would be replaced for 2021 before the 2020 season had even begun. After that, Vettel went on to have its worst full year in Formula 1 as Ferrari themselves slumped to 6th in the constructor standings, their worst finish for 40 years. However, this year, since the arrival of Carlos Sainz, the Italian team has been back on track, currently fighting McLaren for 3rd in the championship. For Carlos, I still remember exactly how it feels when you first arrive and you can imagine how motivated and happy he is about everything. The mood has changed a bit in the team. I can't tell what went wrong with Seb last year because he's a great guy who works very hard. Sainz also heaped praise on his predecessor crediting Vettel for helping him become the driver he is today. I have known Seb for many years and in my career, he has always been a point of reference for me. I spent endless hours in the simulator at Red Bull Racing while he was winning the world championship and I learned a lot from his way of doing both on and off track. But after Leclerc left Ferrari largely alone last year, Sainz has been surprisingly more competitive against the highly rated Monegasque, sitting just 2 points behind him. And that's been it for this video. If you enjoyed it, then please make sure to share this video with your friends, parents, grandparents, pets, whoever you can share it with, and please leave a like and subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. Apart from that, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you an awesome day, and until next time, bye bye.